On this episode of Carnage, we're getting the Lexum ready for the Optima Streetcar Challenge. So, I guess by now everyone knows that the Lexan makes a lot of power. It is very fast. It is both the best and worst sleeper in the country. I mean, it looks awesome as a sleeper, but everyone knows what it is now, so it's also not a sleeper, because they go, that's that wagon. It makes over 700 horsepower of the tires. It's stupidly fast. Yeah, it is. But last episode, we also fixed the brakes, so now it stops as well. That electric brake booster is awesome. I mean, with, combined with the Protex pads and uh, discs that we have on this car, this thing stops really good. So not only has it the power to go, it stops as well. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't handle at all. I guess you've seen in our little uh, runs up and down the street that the thing handles like a soggy noodle. It is really bad. And we're going to be tackling the Optima Streetcar Challenge this weekend. So what's Optima? Optima is a one day event where they basically put a whole bunch of good all round streetcars up against each other. And when I mean all round streetcars, we're gonna see Lamborghinis, uh, Porsches, I think there's a McLaren coming. You know, there's some crazy cars coming as well as some really tough, cool streetcars. We're gonna have like James Mackey there with his uh, Drift XY. Uh, we've got Heath with his, you know, street machine cover car, Tirana. I mean, that thing's awesome. These guys know how to drive their cars and their cars are set up to go around tracks. The Lexan is not set up to go around tracks. It barely stays straight in the straight line, you know? So we need to do something about the suspension. And I thought, well, we're going out to a track day. Why don't we start off by putting some wheels and tires on this thing? All right, so what's happened is I've been down to the wreckers and found a set of 17 inch wheels. I tried to find something that would look okay. I mean, I didn't have a lot to choose from, but also I needed something, at least a 17 inch wheel. 17s kind of work best on these cars, I think. We could have gone 18s, but 18s are starting to you know, push the friendship with the, the VRVS platform. So 17s work really well. I think they're like a VXSS wheel, something like that. Someone will correct me on the internet, I'm sure. Uh, but they look all right. They've still got the marks from the, uh, the wreckers on them. And then, of course, when I bought the wheels, which you know, they only cost me 350 bucks, which is all right, the tires were all shagged, so the tires were terrible. So I've been down to Motorsport Wheels and Tires, and we have shod them in Nankang. Uh, what are they? NS2Rs. So they're a half decent tire, all right? Reasonably soft. There is a limit at the Optima Streetcar Challenge. You can't run anything softer than a 180 treadwear tire. So, and you have to run the one set of tires for the total event, all right? So you can't go changing, oh, we're gonna do drag strip. Oh, put me drag radials on. Nope, all right? You know, we're gonna go around corners. I'm gonna put my racing slicks on. Nope, you need to put tires on that are no softer than a 180 treadwear tire. Those are 200, so they are well within the rules. And, uh, but they should be a good tire for going around corners. And then of course, with the shorter sidewall, the thing should go around corners a lot better than it has previously. I've also uh, installed our eight button keypad in the, uh, the console there. Zane's done some tuning. Uh, we've set up launch strategies. We've set up boost strategies. We've got rolling anti-lag. Um, burnout limiters, thermo fan controls. We, we, Zane's gone to town with the, the old uh, keypad, so that's going to really help us. The rolling anti lag is hilarious. I'm not going to show you that on the street because, yeah, reasons. But, um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, we've got wheels and tyres, we've got launch strategies and boost strategies and all sorts of stuff but it still sits up a bit high. It still has standard springs and shocks in it. So we're gonna head down to Shockworks and the boys are gonna deck it out with some springs and shocks, get this thing handling right. So 
by the end of this episode, the Lexan should be able to go round corners really, really fast. I guess we'll see this weekend. But anyway, let's jump in the car and head to Shockworks. So we've got the Lexan up here in the hills at Shockworks. Tim, what are we going to do to the Lexan to make it handle? Um, so we're going to install our inverted monotube strut up in the front end. We have a billet uh, top mount that we're going to put in with a spherical bearing. It gets rid of the old tired rubber bush that sits at the top. Um, and then we're going to uh, spring and valve to suit the uh, 1UZ in the front. Um, so yeah, basically set it up so it rides and handles and it's just a nice, well-mounted uh, streetcar. Uh, in the rear, um, we're gonna put uh, just a stick with a divorce set up in the rear. So just have our damper. And then I'm going to try and fit one of our Mustang rear springs in the rear, see if that works. I think okay. off memory it does. Um, but yeah, we don't actually have a, a rear spring in production for this yet. Okay. Um, it's kind of on the drawing board at the moment. I so. guess it's not a pretty common setup for you. No one comes in here with no, like, we, like some wagons or even Commodore wagons. Yeah, we do a lot of, um, we we do uh, live rear Commodores, um, but not very often. And people usually will just put a King Spring in the back or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we do a lot of IRS Commodores. Yeah. Um, so if not, if, if I can't get uh, any springs here to fit, uh, we can just put a, a lowered King spring in the rear, um, which have a, uh, an increased uh, spring rate anyway. Yeah. And then we can, um, uh, we'll just valve it to suit. So I, I've tried a valve code um, for a, a wagon. Um, so it came, it's a bit of, you know, similar to a VL VS live rear. Yep. Um, but we've factored in the weight that it's, uh, you know, a bit more weight over the rear being wagon. So we'll see how it goes. We'll do some uh, some road testing and then, you know, we'll, we'll pull them out if we need to. It takes all of, you know, five minutes to pull them out, maybe even less. Um, so we'll, we'll do some valve changes and see if we can get this thing to, well, we will get it to handle. Yeah. Um, it's got decent tires on it. It's got the NS2Rs on it. So it's yeah. going to be a good package. Um, maybe some upgraded brakes down the track might help. Um, Maybe. But yeah, we'll, we'll align it up. I mean, it's getting um, adjustable arms in the rear end, so we'll be able to trim the toes a bit too, because these are usually a mil or two out, like just, yep. just out of the factory. They, they're not always perfectly straight. So it'll be good to have a bit of adjustment there. And um, yeah, it's going to be definitely a, a party car. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to um, having a drive and seeing uh, this thing on rails. Yeah, so. it's going to be hilarious seeing this thing go up against Lambos and Porsches and stuff. Yeah, and, it's going to surprise know, like some said, people. Yeah, you know, coilovers in the front, just good adjustable shocks in the rear and then yep. lowered springs. So we're going to drop it down a bit, make it handle. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's see how they, it all breaks down.
So for those of you that have been watching the Lexan build, you may remember that we bought these white line upper arms a long time ago and we never got around to fitting them, but they've been sitting there in the box and we've even been just carrying them around in the car. But we figured, all right, we're down here at Shockworks, why not put the arms in at the same time? So this thing's getting a full suspension upgrade. It's gonna be awesome. So uh, the boys will, will line them up and lock them in. All right, hand it over. So the boys have sorted out a spring and perch combo that fits in the uh, rear of the wagon and they've taken about, well, about three fingers out of there. And then, um, yeah, it looks amazing. So ride height's awesome. Uh, so now they're gonna move up the front and see what we can do there. So we've got our Shockworks coil over front there. Tim, what makes this so much better than that? Um, this is extremely durable. It's a 45 mil inverted strut, so it has massive bearing surface area. Um, we tend to service them every 50 to 100,000 Ks to keep them in good nick, um, but they're extremely durable and they're fully customizable. So we customize spring rates, valving, um, and do all our own tuning up around here to make sure the, uh, the car drives well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of development involved and um, yeah, all the parts are manufactured to basically the highest quality that we can get away with. So it's all CNC um, billet locking collars and mounts and things like that. All the mounts are TIG welded. Um, yeah, it's basically just a nice, nice piece of kit that we can customize and, and you um, can customize, customize everything. You can adjust the height, the valving. I mean, we've got this the, spherical top up here. Yeah, it looks the amount awesome. Of travel, um, yeah. just yeah, everything. Um, we even do our own fab, so I can I can weld on mounts. Um, I can take mounts off, paint it, and and sandblast it, and do whatever basically. So um, yeah, yeah, it should it should absolutely transform the car. And um, yeah, really look forward to, to driving it and seeing how much of a difference it makes over a standard Commodore front end, which are pretty boaty. Um, so yeah, this thing is a boat. So yeah, with these things in there, it looks amazing. And I think it's gonna drive amazing. So yeah, uh, yeah can't wait to drive it. Yeah. All right. Legend. Throw her in. So the boys have dropped it down. They've still got some adjustments to make, but it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we've got to go off and do some other stuff. So we're going to come back and see where the boys get to. But yeah, it is looking good. All right, so Tim's just rocked up back here with the Lexan. We're down at Max Performance the moment. He's dropping some stuff off. The, the stance looks amazing. That's really cool. It's looking pretty good. It actually um, exceeded my expectations ride department yeah um, it's nice and plush but then it has the adjustment there 
they are fully adjustable, so you're able to wind it up and get a really decent level of handling out of it. Um, yeah, it drives really nicely. I mean, um, if it was manual, it would probably be a Perfect. little more uh, street friendly. Like yeah, the yeah. Turbo 400 is pretty aggressive in it. Yeah, um, for sure. But it has really nice sort of street manners and then you can obviously wind it up when you go to the track. Um, so yeah, it's, All right. it's just worked out really well. Um, well. Let's go for a drive. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. First time we've ever been in the passenger side of this car. Yeah, right. <laughs> Must be a strain. Yeah. Wow, it sits so flat compared to the way it used to be. I'm surprised it actually hooked up on their wet road. Yeah, it looks. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, that's flat. Oh my god, that is so good. That's so good compared to what it used to be, man. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it definitely points, uh, but it's predictable. Yeah. Well, it's it's not um, yeah, it definitely. And the wet road's to... wet. That's what gets me. The road is wet. There's no way we could have ever done that before. Yeah, this would have been a sloppy mess. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, it just would have weight transferred and then gone. Bleh. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Tim, thank you. Oh, no I mean you, thank you and thank you to all your boys. And your young man here, who's uh, pretty impressed with the how the Lexan goes. But uh, man, the stance is amazing. The handling's amazing. Yep. I can't wait to see how this thing goes tomorrow at yeah, Optima. And you're going out there as well in the Falcon. Yeah. yeah the Grey Falcon. Should be pretty good. Which Zane's just given it a bit of a tickle up as well. Yeah. So, have you done Optima before? I've not done Optima. Okay. No, I've done um, circuit stuff and roll racing. Yeah. Um, I thought the Falcon is a bit of a jack of all trades, so we might as well see how it goes. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, really excited. All right. Yep. Well, the Lexan will be flexing out at Calder. We'll be sexing. That's it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up there. So next episode, you're going to see this thing out at uh, Calder Park, ripping some laps, breaking some hearts. It's going to be awesome. Thanks to Tim and the team at Shockworks. No worries. But, uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. This thing's going to be amazing, and you're going to see it all in a future episode of Carnage.